What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. I'm not even kidding. I was literally just about to upload this Lakers rebuild that I just recorded this morning. And then like literally as soon as I got it uploaded, as soon as I got it scheduled, Kemba Walker is getting bought out by the Oklahoma City Thunder and is going to sign with the New York Knicks. Now I know we just did a Knicks rebuild yesterday, but I feel like this obviously deserved another rebuild. So I'm excited for New York, man. New York Knicks fans can definitely be excited about this move. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button. Of course, subscribe if you haven't already man we had a great day yesterday i plan on having another good day again we are having a lot of fun this offseason man so hope you guys enjoy this video let's go ahead and jump in to this kimball walker new york knicks rebuild roster you got yourselves a point guard which is what i wanted the knicks to do all along right now the point guard was derrick rose and we all know derrick rose is more of a six man nowadays so that was awesome to get derrick rose back but getting kimball walker on top of that this definitely solidifies the knicks as another potential eastern conference playoff team because like i loved what they did last year right making the postseason that was very exciting but then after that you know the offseason came along and the only thing they really did was get Derek rose back of course as w they signed evan fournier which i thought was cool but i didn't think it moved the needle all that much and now they have kimba freaking walker bro so kimba walker got bought out so he's obviously going to sign with the knicks for like a million or something like that because that's usually how it goes once you get bought out, you sign to a very cheap contract elsewhere because you just got paid, obviously, from your uh, last contract. So, looking at this new rotation, you got Kimball Walker, R.J. Barrett, Alec Burks right now, Julius Randle, Mitchell Robinson, Derek Rose, Evan Fournier, Norris Noel, Taj Gibson, Emmanuel Quickly. And also, when we did that next rebuild, um, Taj Gibson wasn't even on the team. So, uh, that's also a thing. So, what I think we're going to do, though, is I obviously want Evan Fournier to start in this situation. So, let's go ahead and make sure Alec Burks is not... Uh, the starting uh, small forward just because obviously it'll be like Evan Fournier. I mean, the new starting five looks pretty, it looks a lot of fun. Kimball Walker coming here is definitely tons of fun. So uh, the Knicks, in the Knicks offseason, man, I, I've definitely loved it. So uh, especially with this Kim, I, at first I wasn't in love with it, but now that they got Kimball Walker here, that is actually really awesome. Kimball Walker gets another chance to show why he's an all-star point guard. You know, it didn't obviously go that well with the Celtics, but he gets a chance to prove himself again, so you love to see that. The only thing I don't like about this rotation right now is Emmanuel quickly is not getting any minutes, which is something I'm not totally fond of, so I guess what we can do is run a 10-man rotation, because quickly was a big part of what they did last year, so definitely want to see him get some minutes. 12 minutes isn't the most ideal thing in the world, but we'll roll with it for now. We're going to go ahead, though, and simulate this first season with this new, brand new Knicks team. Only thing I do want to look at, though, is... uh. Kim Walker's shot tendency is high up there. So I definitely wanted Kim Walker to take some shots. And Julius Randle as well, of course. So let's go ahead, though, and select this first season with this New York Knicks roster without me doing much of anything at first. And I just kind of want to see what 2K thinks about this brand new New York Knicks roster with Kim Walker joining it. So at the end of the season, we only finish up as a seventh seed in the East, which is a little disappointing from our fourth seed appearance last year. But hey, we still have time to definitely make some more changes in this video. So we get to play Milwaukee in the first round. Only 42 and 40 this season, which is definitely disappointing. We had 21 from Julius Randle, 18 from Kim Walker, 17 from RJ Barrett, 14 from Fournier, 13 from Derrick Rose off the bench, 11 from Alec Burks, and 7 from Manu Quickly, and 7 from Noel. Well, 6.8 from Mitchell Robinson. So let's go ahead and see if we can beat Milwaukee in the first round here, or if we're going to go home in the first round. I mean, if we go home in the first round, it's literally not that big of a deal. So somebody current round. And uh, okay, so we definitely have... No, game one under our belt was awesome to start things off. Let's shrink this to a nine-man rotation. Uh, three to one, though, and we lose in five, which, you know, is fine. We definitely have some more time to definitely correct this roster on Kimball Walker and the New York Knicks. So uh, going into the offseason draft lottery time, uh, we are not going to have a draft pick here, I don't think, actually. So this should be this will be the 2022 draft where I believe the Mavericks actually own their draft pick. Um, 17 and 21. So I believe the Mavericks actually own their draft pick in 2022. So technically we are in the 2022 off season. So I'm going to go ahead and send this back to the Mavericks just because they actually own this draft pick in 2022. So we'll have that, uh, just to make sure things are correct there. And we have the 17 pick in the draft. So, I mean, I think it's time to make a big trade. Uh, we're going to resign Kimball Walker, obviously. Uh, but I want to make a big move here. I mean, we're trying to get back to the postseason. We got just had a very disappointing year. So let's try to do something to get back to where we were. So um, assistant coaches that we could hire real quick. Trent Peterson, of course. We're going to keep Tom Thibodeau because he's definitely changed the culture, uh, culture for the Knicks. And we'll sign Stephen Dawkins as well. So we'll have that. Let's go to the draft now. On draft night, who is available? Because that's kind of what I want to look at. I mean, right now, Evan Fournier at the small forward spot. Kim Walker is our point guard. RJ at the two. 
So, I mean, ideally, the center spot could definitely use an upgrade. So, maybe we kind of look at the center spot and, hey, say maybe maybe we could go get something crazy, potentially. So, let's go to Team Intel and kind of see what everyone else is, you know, kind of looking at around the league and see if we can maybe get something that would definitely, you know, further help us. So, um, let's just, uh, looking for centers real quick, just in case. So, we got the Spurs, which I have no idea what the Spurs are doing in real life, bro. It's so confusing over there. But uh, Aiden and the Suns. Uh, Aiden has not got his contract extension. The Timberwolves seven seed uh, rebuilding. Cat in New York would be a lot of fun if maybe we did something crazy like that. The Blazers not making the playoffs is not looking good. Um, what else we got? Uh, Wiseman, um, Joel Embiid. I don't think that would happen. Vucevic from the Bulls. That's not gonna happen. Um, what else we got? Uh, Bam out of bio probably would not happen. Go Bear. John Holmes. Uh, okay, so. I think the most fun thing to do would try to get Carly Towns, obviously, to make like a big New York Knicks team here. So I'm going to do that. Why not? Like, we might as well just go for it all this season. So Timberwolves, um, I'm going to go ahead and actually, we're going to wait till after the draft. So I don't care who we draft here. Uh, we're going to get Zion Harmon, uh, Hasten Ward, and Terrence Shannon. So we'll sign all those guys. Player options, sign all of them. And then qualifying offers, none. So let's go in and uh, let me make sure the Timberwolves are still fine with potentially training cap to us because... Uh, that would be a big pickup. So let's try to see if we can grab Cat. So 25 years old, we're going to offer them. Um, so we have a lot of young players we're going to offer. So obviously, they might even want RJ Barrett if they were going to trade. Well, they have Anthony Edwards, so maybe not uh, so much. So we can give them Mitchell Robinson. We can give them Amanda Quickly, who they'd probably want. Uh, we're 26 million off, so we're going to definitely have to throw in some salary in here. So uh, maybe not Fournier, but Alec Burke's contract. We're 12 million off now. And then... Uh, do I have anybody like Obi Toppin and Kevin Knox potentially to throw this in here? Um, and we're like 365k off still. So that's a lot of players to trade away. Um, let me try not to trade that many players. So Mitch Robinson, quickly, two young guys they would definitely love to have. And then you'd probably have to throw in uh, Burke's uh, contract and Noah's Noel contract, probably. And we're still off. And then I'll trade a 2022 pick and uh, we'll throw in... Obi Toppin probably as well. So, Nerlens well, Alec Burks, quickly Mitch Robinson, and a 2022 first for Mr. Carthy Towns. They agree to that. We got the money to work, and boom, just like that, we have ourselves a legitimate center down low, uh, which is definitely going to help out this team a lot. So, I love that. And then, definitely going to have to make some more uh, free agency signings, obviously. But, hey, it's cool. So, I'm going to move uh, either Quentin Grimes to small forward. He goes up, or uh, Aaron Shannon 6'6". So, we'll move him to the small forward spot. And then, of course, we want Kimball Walker back, uh, 24 million. We're going to go ahead and sign him to a big deal. Four years. Uh, we got a new legitimate super team here in New York, which we wanted to keep around. And then we still have a mid level, it looks like. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we definitely should use this uh, last mid level on a big man. So white side, we have Cousins, Boban, Marjanovic, uh, Rudy Gay, Bialica, Davis Bertans. Actually, Davis Bertans would be kind of cool. Not sure why he's a free agent because he is actually under contract for a long time unless if the wizards like released him i guess but uh i mean i that's something we should definitely take advantage of a shooter off the bench would definitely be uh, awesome to have so let's go ahead and snag davis bertans and that should do it so kimball walker uh rj barrett quentin grimes evan fournier shannon Julius randall and carly towns down low i'm excited to see how this roster is going to do in season number two barely made the playoffs last year tom thibodeau reunites with carly towns RJ Barrett, and then you got Julius Randle, Kim Walker, Fournier, Derrick Rose going down in overall, which is a little unfortunate, but it's okay. So let's go to training camps, and let's throw some untapped potential camps around, man. I'm so excited for New York fan Knicks fans, man. I'm so excited. They finally got an all-star, bro. Freaking awesome. All right. So I'm going to the 2023 draft class, and then untapped potential camps, we got... Um, um, we're going to use this one on RJ Barrett. We'll use the other one on... Uh, Terrence Shannon, who is going to be a big part of the rotation now. And we'll throw the last one at uh, Quentin Grimes, because why not? All right. So looking at our rotation now, we're still at power ranking number 18, which is a little disappointing. But uh, nine minute rotation, we got Kimba Walker, RJ Barrett, Tanner, Terrence Shannon, Julius Randle, Carly Towns, Evan Fournier. So they did not want to start Evan Fournier at all, which is a little weird, but whatever. So uh, Quentin Grimes, Derek Rose, still the sixth man, or still, I guess, seventh man now. But proficiency-wise, we should probably move this system. As much as I know Tom Thibodeau loves his defense, we should probably move this to what best fits us. That would probably help out the simulation a lot more as well. And then the last thing I kind of want to check out is the shot tendencies. So um, let's go ahead and see what those are looking like. So shot tendencies, uh, Carly Towns obviously wants that up quite a bit. RJ Barrett's, you know, we'll leave that down a little bit. And Kim Walker, Julius Randle. So yeah, I'm content with that. We're cool. So let's go ahead though and simulate season number two. 
And let's see how... Okay, and they moved the system. So I bet that's what it was because Evan Fournier wasn't good at defense. So they moved it. So we're going to go ahead though. Simulate season number one or season number two. And uh, let's see if we have a bounce back season from last year. John Moran comes out as your MVP of the league. Good for him. 29 and 11. Very efficient numbers. Chet Holmgren, rookie of the year on the Charlotte Hornets. That's actually a really good pickup for them. Kelly Oubre, six man on the Dallas Mavericks. I mean, if the Mavericks can find a way to get Kelly Oubre this offseason because he is still a free agent, that would be cool for them. As a defensive player, Kellen Hayes, most improved. John Lucas, coach of the year. And Andre Truman is your executive. So here's your NBA first team with Ja, Young, Luka, Giannis, Jokic. NBA second team, LaMelo, Harden, LeBron, Randall, Bam Adebayo. NBA third team, uh, we got Conley Towns making it for the New York Knicks representing. And here's your all defense first team. All defense the second team. So, first seed in the East feels good. 52 and 30. Player stats wise, we had 26 from uh, Carly Towns, 21 from Julius Randle, 19 from RJ Barrett, and then 18 from uh, Kim Walker, 12 from Evan Fournier, and 11 from Derrick Rose, and 8 from Davis Bertans. But like I said, man, I was definitely, definitely did not. When I first saw this Evan Fournier signing, it's not that I didn't think he deserved the money. I just didn't like it because I wanted the Knicks to do something bigger. But hey, getting Evan Fournier and Kim Walker is bigger i love that so uh take i take back everything that i said about the new york knicks uh by the way because i definitely have not been very fond of their offseason but now that kim walker's here along with fournier it looks even better man so going against uh, the toronto raptors in the first round um if i can get to their team what it looks like right now so we have um if i can where is their damn roster at you know what whatever i i have no let me just do it the old-fashioned way i guess i can't get to them right now so raptors siakam OG, uh, Boucher, Gary Trent Jr., Scotty Barnes, Precious Achua. So many current round against the Toronto Raptors. They win game one, and it is a close series, but we beat them at six, thankfully. Okay, that's good. And now we get to play the Orlando Magic, and we get to see... All right, so um, let's go ahead and see... Okay, there we go. Lineup. That's what I was trying to get to. So Orlando has Jalen Suggs, RJ, Chumo Kiki, Isaac, Window Carter, Cole Anthony, Franz Wagner, Mo Bamba, Gary Harris, Mark L. Fultz, and Terrence Ross. So game one... Uh, they're up one to zero so not a good start 23 and 15 we lose by four game two they're up two to zero let's not do this 2k come on man I'm, I'm trying to win new york a championship here all right let's see if we can win game three nope down three to zero and we get swept okay well that is unfortunate and now we get the memphis grizzlies going on to beat the milwaukee bucks the orlando magic were just too good i guess so uh, uh but hey we're not done yet let's go to the draft lottery and uh let's see what's going on this offseason so this offseason uh, this would technically be the 2023 draft, uh, which I believe we actually had the Mavericks pick this year, but it is number 16. Uh, so I don't think I'll trip over it too much, though, because I, I mean, we have a really good roster right now as it is. So um, do I want to trade? We have no picks. OK, but like I said, I think we actually own the Mavericks draft pick, but we just traded for Condé Town. So I will just pretend that we traded that pick as well. So uh, I guess I'll accept his team option and qualifying offers. Kevin Knox is a free agent if he wants to come back. Sure, why not? But I don't think we'll be doing anything too crazy other than signing Julius Randle back, of course, who somebody we don't want to see walk. He's been a great player for New York, and you don't want to see him go. Uh, so other than that, I think we'll just run it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nine. yeah, we're good, man. We're good. So let's just run it back one more time. Um, depending on player regression and tree as well. And uh, we'll um, let's see. We got 89, 88, 87, 83, 81, 80. Uh, Derek Rose still a 79 good so yeah I mean running back one more time is all you can really do getting Julius Randle back is clutch we were the first seed last year unfortunately lost to the Magic in the second round hopefully that doesn't repeat itself uh, let's just once again use these training camps to our advantage we uh, um, use untapped potential on Julius Randle this year I guess I'll use the other one on Quentin Grimes and I'll use the last one I guess on Kimball Walker just to kind of I guess maybe progress him a little bit more so power ranking Lance is at number 16 same rotation same song and dance man we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's run a nine minute, by the way. So, all right, same song and dance though. Let's simulate season number uh, three, and hopefully this year things go our way. Season number three, Lamelo Ball comes out as your MVP of the league. Dr. Johnson's uh, Rookie of the Year. Josh Giddy, six man, Eyes defensive player. Brandon Huntley, half field. Oh my goodness, the Thunder are represented out here, man. But Coach of the Year goes to Tom Thibodeau, 56 and 26. Austin Newsom, Executive of the Year. So, um, again, first seed in the East. Can we? actually win it all this year's the question 24 21 20 19 uh 12 and then we got 9 8 7 so Derek rose unfortunately is going down and not scoring as much uh, uh scoring as much but this is the last season man so if we can't win it this year i guess it's just not in the cars today so the sixers still have ben simmons but he's coming off the bench interesting uh <laughs> somebody current around against philadelphia and we are gonna beat them in four so that's a good start to things and detroit 
gets Orlando out of our way. The team that beat us last year. We got Killing Hayes, K Cunningham, Isaiah Livers. Wow, he is pro he's an A6 overall. Wasn't he like a second rounder that they drafted, if I'm not mistaken? Lawyer Marketing as well in Detroit. So this is actually a really, really good roster. So I'm a little nervous here. Game one, we're up one to zero though. 21 and seven from Kimba. Game two, uh, they evened it up. Game three, two to one. Game four, three to one. And we beat them in five. Yes, let's go. Now I get to play the MVP of the league, LaMelo Ball and the Charlotte Hornets who have Book Knight, Hayward, JT Thor, Chet Holmgren, Amani Bates. Wow, this team is very good as well. So many current round against Charlotte and we are going to beat them in five. Let's go. And now I get to play the Utah Jazz who have Conley, Mitchell, O'Neal, Bogey, or Bojan, sorry, uh, Rudy Gobert, Jordan Clarkson, Humpty Diallo, Daniel Howe. So I feel like that Charlotte Hornets team was better than this, but hey, you never know. Game one, we're up one to zero. Game two, two to zero. Game three. This is what you got represented on the West Conference. Come on, baby. Let's go. Simcast. And uh, we'll probably uh, do some gameplay to end off the video again. So can we complete the sweep and celebrate a championship on the Utah Jazz home floor? It is a close game. 107-109. We're jumping in with two minutes left to end this off against the Utah Jazz. We're down two right now. We could easily make this comeback. So the Jazz do have the ball, though. So, not, you know, it's fine. All right. So Donovan Mitchell. Just got to play good defense on him. Trying to get the pass in the paint. Almost a five-second violation. Uh, that's good defense, but we do get the foul, unfortunately. Zion Harmon, hey, good help defense because I was getting kind of blown by by Mitchell there. So he's obviously going to make both these free throws, but we got to buckle down on defense So and get, obviously, a basket on the offensive end. So probably we'll go to a Kimball Walker, Carlton Towns pick and roll here. So Kimball Walker in a Knicks jersey looks pretty damn good, though. I'm not going to lie. So give me a scream. I know Gobert is one of the best uh, defending centers. They leave Julius Randle wide open, which... Uh, Yes, he makes it. Okay, so that's good. I mean, I was kind of nervous about shooting that, but I kind of had to take that shot. So Randall, nice three. That was definitely huge. Definitely needed that. So Conley, I'm going to go ahead and guard him. Uh, we're going to actually come off this screen. Bojan, uh, they're going to screen. Mitchell, Royce O'Neal is on the perimeter right now. I'm off balling just because I'm terrible at this game. So uh, if you play me online, this is probably what you'll see. I know off ballers are they usually frowned upon. We get the defense or the uh, rebound. Let's go. Just Randall dribbling it up floor. Um, we're gonna go. We're just gonna go RJ Bear here. Slow things down. All right. Nice screen. Honestly, probably should have taken advantage of that, but that's all right. So, uh, no way. That's a charging. Are you kidding me? That's such a dumb foul, bro. Come on. All right. Minute 19 left. It's still fine. We can still play defense here. That was such a dumb foul, though. Whatever. But all right. Uh, gonna go ahead and if I can get to the corner fast, I almost uh, sold the bag there. Mitchell's trying to get something going. Obviously, hope he takes a really bad shot here. RJ Barrett, great defense, but. Donovan Mitchell just better offense, man. Damn, that's unfortunate. 110 and 113. That charging foul definitely killed us, bro. Because that would have been a huge possession on the other end. But unfortunately, we might lose this game here. Uh, Mitchell is going to go ahead and miss, actually. So that actually helps us out a lot. So let me go to a Kimball Walker real quick and see if I can maybe get a quick basket. I almost wanted to draw the foul, but it's all right. One point game. Uh, 112 to 113. We got to play good defense again. Uh, we played, you know, RJ played good defense on Mitchell last possession, but unfortunately he just made it. Trying to guard Mike Conley here to make sure he doesn't get open or anything. Mitchell, Quinn grabs on Carly Towns is just, okay, what are we? Okay, wow, that was the worst defense I've ever seen in my life. Uh, let's go. Uh, Carly Towns is literally just watching. Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe uh, I get a screen, another three-point basket opens up. Carly Towns is, I just, just got absolutely obliterated. I... I don't even know what I was going for there. All right, whatever. So I'll <laughs> uh, we'll just forget that even happened. Uh, let's go, Kim Walker. Come on. All right. I need another screen here. I need a three-point shooter to get open here, to be honest. But uh, it looks like we got that. Quentin Grimes, please make that. And he's not going to make it. And Kim Walker almost got the offensive rebound. And we have to foul. We're playing the foul game. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and send it in on that. We lost, it looks like. So um, we didn't win game four, but it's all right. We're going to go ahead and win game five. And close us out. Come on. Let's go. All right. New York Knicks win the champions. Unfortunately, we tried to get some gameplay to end it off, but we were just getting kind of cheesed out there. So, 30, 27 points for Carly Towns, 47%, 45% from three for Carly Towns. Finals MVP, guys. Let me know what you guys think about the Kimball Walker to New York Knicks things. I am actually really excited for them. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, though, guys. Leave a like if you did. But for now, this is Crushables. I'm saying.